Right, hello everybody, I'm delighted to be here tonight. I am Stephen Howell and I'm very conscious I'm talking to designers tonight. This is the first picture that came up on Google when I typed in designers. So, <laughs> usually I'm used to talking to programmers and it's changed the way we become programmers. When I was a kid, I learned to program by typing in magazine articles like this. I know that looks horrible, but those of you who are around my age, you had an Atari, you had an Commodore, or you had an Amstrad, and you learned to program the hard way, getting syntax errors. This took about 10 years of your life, and at the end of it, you were a programmer. Nowadays, we don't bother with that. We just send you to college and we say, become a programmer. Unfortunately, our third level courses, though they're very good in Ireland, unfortunately, many of the people coming in had no idea that's what was going to happen to them, and they don't want to be that guy. That's why people like Professor Jeanette Wing in Carnegie Mellon University, they propose and promul <coughs> promulgate the idea of computational thinking which is that children in schools, secondary and primary, can be taught these complex ideas. So I say we need to get away from the three O's, which are important, but we've kind of covered them fairly clearly, and we need to introduce the three Ds, design, develop, and debug. If your kids and your students and your future employees and possibly bosses can't design, develop, and debug, where will we be? So that's where Scratch comes in, a fantastic free tool from MIT. It's absolutely amazing. It's programming language for kids that works by plugging Lego bricks together. If you don't know what Lego is, A, you need a hug, B, your parents need an intervention. <laughs> but for now, for now, if you understand the concept, here's a sprite, it's a little cat. Then we have some Lego bricks together, and it basically says, when I press the right arrow, go right, and when I press the left arrow, go left, and your mum can understand that. Hopefully, if she's not dead, and so on. Now, we have many, many, many cool bricks that are built into Scratch. You can play music, you can talk, you can make games with it, you can make interactive art. It's absolutely amazing. Kids as young as seven can program in it. I know this because I have a seven-year-old and he can program in it. It's a fantastic tool. We're even teaching college kids the fundamentals of programming. It's a big problem, though, because our college kids coming in now, they've grown up with iPads and iPhones and Xboxes and PlayStation 3s and Nintendo DSs, and the content comes ready-made for them. They have Connects which is a tool which is just out this year, about one year now, uh, I think it was one year this week, a fantastic, amazing controller that can see where you are in a room and translate that into an interactive skeleton for you to play computer games. Kids are very accustomed to having cool things like this. So we need to inspire them and grab their creativity by giving them the ability to program these tools. So the Connect works, it can actually see you, it works in quite a large area, um, it's a fantastic tool just for getting information like the skeleton. Where are your body parts in a room? So you knows where your hand is, where your elbow is, where your shoulder is, where your head, your knees and your hips and so on. A fantastic tool if you want to make games. How do we translate this very difficult C++, C Sharp, Java environment into something for kids? Well, I wrote a program for them in January. It takes the connect, it sends the information into Scratch and it gives you the skeletal data in Scratch so that even a seven-year-old can program it. It's so simple to program. I wrote Space Invaders as an example and it took me about 10 minutes. Most of the time was spent actually making the little baddies. And you can see there, it has go to head underscore X. That's a sensor value. So it's actually tracking the head as you move your head. That's the spaceship moving around. You can see a little girl in Australia there playing the game in her library. She throws her hands above her head to shoot. You can actually see the code here. There's another little boy in Australia. He's playing breakout. And you can see under there, it's tracking your right hand on the X axis. If you don't know what the X axis is, don't worry about it. Now. <laughs> Again, it's so easy to program that even a designer who wants to make a fantastic music program, this music program is six lines long and it tracks your hand, your left and your right hand position and plays musical notes depending on where they are. And a kid can play it without knowing anything about music or programming. So it's amazing tool. What's the catch? Why am I passionate about this? Well, in the last month here in my downloads, I've blanked out the names and the email addresses and have highlighted the ones from Ireland. So that's about 100 downloads, five from Ireland. That's a bit disappointing if you think about it. This is free software available to all schools. So what I'm hoping is that the NCCA, which are our National Council for Curriculum and Assessment, will somehow, someday, incorporate the three Ds, design, develop, debug, into a programming course that will be mandatory for our students in school. I hope that will happen. And uh, how can you help? Well, I'd love you to come to Scratch Day. It's been held for the last three years in the Institute of Technology Tala. It's at the end of May on a Saturday. Please bring your kids. It's great fun. It's a competition as well. You can win money. 
and you yourself can learn to program in Scratch. Don't be afraid. Go to scratch.ie, where we have a workbook just for Irish people and kids. Sessi.ie, the Computer Education Society of Ireland run courses on it. ITTDublin.ie, where I work. We'll even teach you about it. And go to my website, scratch.sarog.com, if you want to program the Connect, even if you're not a programmer. Learn Scratch.